top-down workflow. For the top-down workflow, I have created a new area under which I have added a PXC4 device. I have also configured a Modbus damper actuator taking it from the library. Please note that, ideally when following the top-down workflow, you would configure the Modbus device after using a sample plant from the library. The PXC4 device is assigned and operational. In the programming editor you can see the default plant. Now, I will take the Hello World plant sample from the library and add it in my project. You can see that the plant is added and I have two plants in this device. Let's study the command sequence block in the program. In the aggregates tab you can define the plant components as needed. The disabled plant components are skipped in the start or stop sequence. In the operating modes tab you can define the operating mode of the plant and individual components depending on the state. The start and stop sequences can be defined in the sequences tab. The start sequence is read from left to right and the stop sequence from right to left. For each component, the start or stop action with the delays can be easily defined here. Let's now have a look to the folder structure in the plant navigation view. For better structuring of the plant, you can create folders representing component groups and function units. The data points belonging to these components can be moved to the folders. The rest of the data points can stay on the main level. Use the context menu to create a new folder. Choose the name and description from the text catalog and define the extension if required. In the graphics field, you determine the graphics that are displayed in Desigo CC and Desigo Control Point. To move all the data points together, select the complete strip and drag and drop the data points on the folder. It is possible to delete a folder and bring the belonging data points on the main level. For this exercise, we will replace the outside damper in the plant with the Modbus damper. To start, I will move the Modbus damper from the default plant to this Hello World plant. You can do that easily in the engineering editor. The change should also be reflected in the programming editor. To work efficiently I will add one more vertical sheet in the programming area. Since we have a binary damper in the plant, it is not possible to replace it directly with the analog output from Modbus damper. Hence, we will create a logic for the conversion. Bring the Modbus damper position in the programming area. Prepare the priorities for the normal operation and global exception accordingly. Now, add the Boolean selector for real values block from the library for inputs.
To keep it simple we will command the damper either off, which is 0 or fully open, which is 100. The output of each selector goes to the respective source value. Now, I will move the first input source from the binary damper to the first selector block. As it is the global exception from fire detection it is also the trigger to activate this input source. To copy a connection use the control key. Hence, in case of fire the damper will be fully open. The input source for normal operation can also be moved and it should be always enabled. Let's check if this program logic is correct. But, before that we should assign the IOs to the hardware to simulate the values. Navigate to the IO configuration task in the engineering editor. Click on assign all button to assign all the IOs. If required move the data points to change the terminals. Now, click on play to check the configuration. Both the input sources are inactive. Let's use the software switch to run this program. You can observe that the components are starting as defined in the command sequence block with the delays. The normal operation is active and the damper is fully open. The same values can also be verified in the engineering editor. Let me enable the fire detection and you can observe that the damper is still fully open but the input source is different. If we check the overall operation, all the plant components are inactive despite the software switch is on. Click on pause. You can move the Modbus damper position I.O. to the outside air damper folder. and, delete the binary damper command from the program. You can see that the icon changed. You are at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.